I bought two identical knives so that you don't have to. And hopefully this video will help you choose which one is best for you. Little King Goods and Kemovan Craft Tools are two big industry names that both sell pattern knives with the same exact shape and for the same exact uses, and yet both of these knives just couldn't be more different the one from the other. But first of all, a bit of context. Little King Goods is possibly the top leatherwork YouTuber to follow if you're getting into this craft. Ryan lives in Ontario and his videos are very informative, helpful, fun, and quite simply great pieces of video content in their own right. His YouTube channel has gained a very envious following and he grew to fame making great quality leather goods. Today he also has his own line of premium yet affordable leather tools sold online alongside a wide variety of patterns on his website. On the opposite side of the ring we have Kemovan Craft Tools which is a Chinese company specialising in offering the highest quality possible entry level tools. They've been around longer and their catalogue is way more diverse, offering a huge array of leatherworking tools and can be found mostly on Etsy, AliExpress, as well as their own website. But as you've probably guessed it, even though they sell the exact same pattern knives, these two knives have a lot of differences. The Kemovan knife weighs in at just a couple of grams really, and really feels quite light. The Little King Goods knife on the other hand comes in at about three to four times the weight of the Kemovan knife. So in comparison, the Little King Goods knife is a real beast and in hand it feels very substantial. The added weight was a bit weird to me at first and a bit unsettling, but I quickly grew to really enjoy it as it gave me more comfort and more precision and also a bit more strength in my cuts. The blades are both replaceable, though seeing how thick they both are, I don't see this being needed anytime soon unless it falls and breaks. They both lock into the handle using the same mechanism, which is simple but sturdy, and are pretty much identical on both knives. The Kemovan knife I have is an iron wood, which is a nice strong material with some nice grain patterns, and it feels silky smooth to the touch. It's very comfortable and light, and I can definitely see people who have maybe smaller hands or do more delicate work preferring this knife just on the lightness basis alone. That being said, the solid brass handle also looks amazing, and it's obviously the reason for the weight. As you can see on mine, just after a few months of use it's already developing some rich patina along the handle and I can only imagine this lasting and looking even greater with time. Despite both handles being identical in shape, the materials used here make all the difference and I would probably prefer the wood handle for thinner leathers as I've just mentioned, but the one I do tend to gravitate towards most is the brass handle. Out of the box, both blades came very sharp though I do feel the Kemovan was the sharpest of the two. That being said, if you're going to be using such a blade on a daily basis, I'm just going to assume you know how to sharpen it. And for example, in my case, I have some very nice whetstones which I use on a daily basis, and then I go ahead and strop my knives. So assuming you know how to sharpen your knife, I'm going to assume sharpness out of the box really isn't an issue. What will make more of a difference, however, is the material used for the blade. Kemovan says their blade is a 9CR18 stainless steel, while Little King Goods blades are a D2 steel blade. For most people, the difference between these two steels is basically inexistent, but for purists such as myself, the D2 steel holds a certain appeal, as it's going to have, in theory at least, better edge retention and therefore stay sharper for much longer. In practice, out of the box, I did have to sharpen the Little King Goods blade much more than I thought I would to bring it up to the level of sharpness that I wanted it in my work. That being said, just sharpening these two blades alone, I can actually feel a difference where the D2 steel does feel much harder and slides along that sharpening stone much more, whereas the Kemovan Tools blade knife steel actually feels like it's biting in a bit more and more material is being removed due to, again, that steel maybe not being as hard. Once I'm satisfied with my sharpening, I go ahead and give my blades a quick strop and then start cutting. And I can instantly tell you that the D2 steel blades on Little King Good Knives are cutting beautifully and I can get some very precise cuts over and over again without the steel feeling like the blade is losing sharpness. However, unfortunately, this is not going to be the case with Kemovan, where my cuts simply don't seem to be reaching as deep as I'd like 
And now I feel like it's the blade not working as well as it might want to, but also the handle being lighter, I can't really get as much strength into my cut. Again, this probably isn't an issue if you're doing very thin leathers or if you're using this knife as it's intended for cutting patterns out of paper. So just to be on the safe side, I go ahead and resharpen my Kemovan knife just to make sure that I'm getting the maximum sharpness possible to try and see if this test can be more equal. And indeed, I do get a bit more sharpness, but overall, the Kemovan knife just doesn't stand up to the Little King Goods knife in terms of sharpness. At the end of the day, however, both of these blades sharpened properly will cut excellently and they will give you great performance. The only downside in my opinion to the blade profile is if you're going to be cutting thicker leathers or thicker materials, you'll find that because the blade becomes quite thick quite fast, you're going to have to need to put more strength into your cut and it may be a bit harder or you may have to do several passes. So the big question here is which of these knives is the best one for you and I think the one thing I haven't talked about here is the one reason that might make you go for one knife or the other, and that's the price. The Kemovan knife comes in at just uh, about $20 really, and is surprisingly cheap for the amount of knife that you get. On the other hand, the Little King Goods knife is much more expensive comparatively speaking, but again, a great, great amount of knife and tool for your money. I was incredibly happy with my Kemovan tool knife when I got it. Again, for that price, you're getting an amazing bargain, an amazing tool. But once I got my Little King Goods knife, I just completely forgot about my Kemovan knife for quite some time because I found the Little King Goods knife was just so much better. It was heavier, it cut better, it felt better, and I actually preferred the brass, although that's just personal taste. So whichever knife you choose, for the price, you're getting an amazing deal and I know that you are going to love it. And if you've loved this video, you're also going to love this video where I restore a 100-year-old C.S. Osborne strap cutter that had been left lying in a drawer for 30 years.